now because we have said that apparently it's not really safe to go back. But I don't think it was ever very safe. <laughs> we we had shooting. a great time. I love well, it. I didn't tell them that at that time. <laughs> Now, there's this great connection that the both of you have as well also. You know, go, you go back to New York as well also. I remember one of your best performances uh, on the big screen. Uh, so just, you know, just a little bit about that. What you like so much about him that you continue to go back to work with him? He was the, one of the first people to really allow me to talk a lot. And he would listen quietly. So in New York, I remember I started talking a little bit, little, just a little bit. And he would be listening like this. What is that? Like, wow, this is a man who likes to hear me talk. <laughs> and then from that point on, he became my favorite person. Wow, that's uh, <laughs> very simple. Then. Arshad listens to her. I listen to me. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I listen to yeah. to Maria also. You know what I mean. Now, coming back to uh, Sev, sir. Uh, we're back to the zone where you're being a, a special agent. Oh, let's put it this way. And lots of action. This is your zone. Uh, this, uh, you know, when we went back a few years, you had agent Vinod also. Didn't do as well as the box office, but still, it, it was a very difficult film to do as well. Uh, did you also enjoy doing this, or do you prefer the simpler roles with just a lot of performance oriented? You no, know, uh, I completely love this kind of movie. And Kabir and I have been to work together for a very long time. Um, and Sajid Bhai also. And I'm happy this worked out this way. It couldn't have been better. I think we have a certain interest in common, uh, a certain subject matter. I think both of us were trying to make uh, the same sort of film. Uh, some of us made it slightly more successfully than the others. So I'm very happy to be working with him because I love that kind of idea. Um, and I feel very uh, secure um, with Kabir at the helm of affairs. I think everyone... Hussain sir, can we actually have you on stage? Please, sir? Uh, Hussain yeah. sir. As mentioned earlier, the writer of the story. Yeah, Hussain is where it all began. We're starting with, wow, do I not see a single hand up? I'll continue chatting otherwise. Oh, there is one, is there? Ah, so, Acha, you're looking for a mic. Hello? Yeah, okay. On, on, on the right side, there's a question, yeah. Uh, can you film Zero Dark Thirty inspired somewhere? No, uh, in, in the sense Zero Dark Thirty is also based on uh, uh, reality. Uh, in that sense, uh, this film is also based on reality, but this is what uh, now in publishing circles is being called faction, which is what uh, Hussein Zadi's book is. Uh, it's a factual base that gets extended into fiction. Um, so, this is a little different. Zero Dark Thirty is on a, on a mission that actually happened. It's, it's actually, uh, a, a, you know, down to the real detail of what happened. This is a bit of an extension into fiction, what we would want to happen. You've got that line in the trailer that says, you'd wish that this was true. And maybe that's, I think, leading up to that. Hi, Gabi. Uh, yeah. uh, I don't think. I don't think that's a. I mean, I didn't have any idea when I read that story. Oh, this story, this poster, is very similar to home front Hollywood film posters. What do you mean by that? Yes, that's what I read. But you know, I mean, we sort of trust the honesty and integrity of our poster designers, marching ants. So I haven't really been able to get into that. And if there is an issue, then we we'll definitely look at it. I haven't seen what poster you're mentioning. Hi, also, this film is uh, said to have been featuring an uh, original hate speech of Hafiz Saeed. Do you expect any uh, issues with the censors? Hafiz Saeed's original hate speech is being featured in the film. So you th uh, think the censors would have issues with that? The, the film's already been censored. And uh, do you have you ha had any uh, word with anybody, anybody opposing this uh, particular thing? Yet? Uh, no, not, not as of now. Hi, Kabir, towards your left, uh, over here. Uh, first of all, congratulations for the success of Bajrangi Bhaijan, over here. Uh, my question to you is, what is the reason behind uh, the Indian flag being uh, used uh, on the poster, on both the characters? You know, sometimes you do something where you create an image and then you let it be open to interpretation. I, as a filmmaker, as somebody who creates visuals, don't like articulating and talking about why the reason is. I think it's very obvious. I mean, this was an attack on our country. There's a certain reason why a flag is being used as a blindfold. And beyond that, it's also open to many interpretations that you might have. So I don't like articulating what I've already done in a visual. 
And uh, my second question is to uh, Sajid sir. Uh, sir, you know, Phantom is releasing on 28th August. And after that, on each and every Friday, one big film is releasing. Like on 4th, there is Welcome Back, then Hero, then... So do you think irrespective of how good the film is, the competition will affect the uh, box office prospect of the yeah, film? Uh, as uh, we've got only 52 weeks and there's only, unfortunately, one Christmas, one Eid. So we need to, and we've got one good holiday, I think, Raksha Bandhan going to take Raksha of our day. So let's hope for the best. Thank uh, you. Katrina, yeah, yeah, my question is to you that we see you some doing a lot of action in the film. So how was uh, the preparations and how much were you comfortable doing uh, such stunts? The action in this film is very different to the kind of action I've done before in Doom or maybe and, and even, even in Tiger, I think, uh, because it's very integral to what they're doing without giving too much away of the story. Um, it's not it's not action to be um, it's not action for showing off or to be you know creating larger than life uh, images. It's action which is integral and out of no other choice. I think. So um, it's it comes in real situations of kind of life or death, and it's, it's something uh, that everyone in the film who is part of is kind of fighting for something they truly believe in. So there was no uh, rehearsals or such like that. But I think for me the the funnest part, which I insisted on doing and I was glad I got to do was to shoot that gun, the big one. Okay, was there a point when you told Kabir, okay, I don't want to do this or you were okay with it?